Hello everybody and welcome to our arts and science project called the Negative Feedback System in Biology and Physics, where we will be linking biology and physics through our artwork called the Salamo Vince Mobile. This project was done by me, Ahmed Salama, and by my teammate, Vincent Boa. For our arts and science project, we will be focusing on the negative feedback system. The negative feedback system is a closed loop system which responds to a disturbance in the opposite direction or a disturbance that disrupts a certain equilibrium. The consequence of this negative feedback system is inhibiting said disturbance. Therefore, the system attempts to return to its original stable state. By now, I'm sure that you might be wondering, how does the negative feedback system link physics and biology? Well, the short answer is that it is used in both and that it is used to maintain stability or homeostasis in biology. Examples include, in biology, the negative feedback system is used to regulate the body. In this project, for example, we will only focus on one biological system which uses the negative feedback which is the maintaining of glucose levels in the body. In physics or specifically mechanics in this presentation we will focus on the use of self-correcting systems such as MCAS in aeronautics which evidently the negative feedback system is essential for. There are many examples of negative feedback systems in biology. However, we will be focusing on the negative feedback system that regulates blood glucose levels. How it works is if, for example, there is a high glucose level in the blood, a hormone insulin is released, which lowers glucose levels. And if there is low glucose levels in the blood, glucagon is released, and this increases the glucose levels. This system therefore tries to return to an equilibrium state where the glucose level is not high or low, it's at a, a perfect state for the body to survive. As for the negative feedback system in physics, more specifically aeronautical engineering in mechanics, it is used to stabilize airplanes via the MCAS system. This system is otherwise known as the maneuvering characteristics augmentation system in aeronautical engineering. How this system works is that it recorrects deviations in the airplane by automatic flap adjustment. For example, if the plane is going on a dive and it is diving too fast, then the flap recorrects itself such that the plane maintains a stable trajectory. This is used to prevent dangerous and sometimes fatal stalls where the plane will not be recoverable in this case. It is also important to note that this system served as a source of inspiration for our artwork which will be presented in the next slides. Being heavily inspired by the MCAS system, our artwork, the Salamo Vince Mobile, applies the same negative feedback mechanism but not in the air, rather on the ground for obvious reasons, one reason being the sheer difficulty of creating a flying robot. Well, in any case, our robot is seen in this video correcting its trajectory to the forward path, which you can think of as the optimal stable state or in homeostasis if you will, after being pushed left and right. This, therefore, illustrates the negative feedback system, which is critical to both physics and biology to maintain stability. This clip also provides a different view into the Salamo Vince Mobile's application of the negative feedback system. It is worthy to note that seen on either side of the wings are two blood containers, which symbolically refer to our chosen negative feedback system the previously explained system which maintains blood sugar level stability or homeostasis in the body. Evidently, when the robot is altered, the blood in the containers 
which represents blood sugar levels, is also perturbed. Said blood sugar levels also return to stability when the robot resumes its forward optimal path. Hence, our piece links both physics and biology via the demonstration of the negative feedback system, a mechanism vital for both topics as well as symbolically referencing biology via the mini sugar blood levels and aeronautical engineering via the shape of a robot which mimics airplanes. So how does the Slamo Vince mobile work? The components are the Arduino Uno computer, which is used for mini projects and R&D, a motor driver, which as you can see in the image is on top of the Arduino Uno, a gyroscope sensor in front, and a mi miscellaneous materials such as wires, a 9 volt battery, a breadboard, an on and off switch, and a chassis. And with the wheels, there are three wheels. Two wheels have a DC motor connected to it, and the front wheel is a caster wheel. So how our robot works is the 9 volt battery powers the computer and all the components. And with the help of the gyroscope sensor, the robot remains in a straight line as it's moving forward. And any deviation will be correct, corrected by the computer uh, with the code. So let's say it's pushed to the right. It will communicate with the motors to return back to going straight forward. So how does the Slamo Vince Mobile, this physics robot, connect to biology? Well, it's as simple as it seems. Electronic code is basically equal to genetic code. The trajectory correcting system featured in the Slamo Vince Mobile which is found in many electronic control modules today, such as the MCAS system, is governed by software coding, and this is simply an electronic man-made version of organic correcting processes, such as blood sugar levels, which are governed by hormones. The Salamo Vince Mobile illustrates a negative feedback system by restoring stability, in our case, the straight trajectory, while also including references to both physics and biology, thus linking both topics. Some of these references include the design for the body of our robot, which looks like a paper airplane, to connect to the MCAS system, and the two blood vials on either side of the wings to reference the instability of blood glucose levels when the system is taken out of equilibrium. To conclude, the subtopic the negative feedback system, links physics and biology. How? Well, the negative feedback system is used to maintain stability or homeostasis in both physics and biology. Finally, the artwork, the Salamovins Mobile, demonstrates the negative feedback system via the demonstrated trajectory corrections to maintain stability. It also makes direct references to biology, for example, the symbolic blood containers which reference the negative feedback system of blood glucose regulation in the body. Our piece also makes direct references to physics, more specifically aeronautical engineering, via the shape of a robot superstructure which resembles an airplane. Hence. The Salamo Vince Mobile, our artwork, connects biology and physics thanks to the negative feedback system as well as referencing both physics and biology alike. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask them by contacting us on Teams. Have an excellent day.